Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you probably figured out from the title of this video because you guys are smart, today we're sharing a haul because I went shopping. I mean, what else would prompt me to share a haul? So basically, if you're a beauty fanatic and a beauty video watcher, then you pretty much knew that Sephora was having their Beauty Insider sale. And if you didn't know that, then you've probably been hiding from the internet for a while. So like the dutiful beauty blogger that I am, I had to go and partake in a little bit of Sephora Beauty Insider shopping. And while I did that, I picked up a few other things along the way. And I figured since my Sephora haul isn't that big, I may as well lump everything together so that you know you have a little bit of a viewing experience. So grab some snacks and let's get started. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let's start this relationship off on the right foot go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. If you're a fan of haul videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know that that's what you like to watch and I continue filming them because relationships are all about communication. All right, back to the programming at hand. Since this is a beauty channel, let's kick it off with everything that I picked up at the Sephora Beauty Insider sale. So like I already said, I didn't totally go crazy at Sephora because, well, I just didn't need that much stuff. And surprise, surprise, that reasoning seemed to have worked this time around. So I walked into Sephora with two items on my list of things to buy, and I walked out with four. I feel like I didn't go that far overboard and I'm proud of myself for it. So the two items I actually needed to go in to buy because I had actually totally run out of the ones that I had at home were actually the same item in two different shades and that was my Sephora Micro Smooth Foundation. Now, I have purchased, repurchased, gone through, used up, and bought more of these more times than I can even count anymore. And the reason I picked up two is because I like to spray tan, so I need one to match my normal shade and one to match my spray tan self. So my regular shade is the shade light, which is number 15, and my shade for when I'm tan is medium 30. These are pretty much dupes for the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Foundation, except they're Sephora brand and half the price. They're pretty much my go-to and one of my favorite Sephora brand items. The next item I picked up was on an end cap and when I saw it I was like, holy crap, are they for real? This is a steal, I have to get it. This was one of those items that even if I didn't need it, it was such a good deal, I couldn't pass it up. And that is the Benefit Cheek-a-thon palette. And it's basically a palette like this, adorable packaging as is standard for Benefit, with five full-size blushes and their little standard blush brush. As you can see, the palette comes with a nice generously sized mirror and the blushes pop right out and the fact that the palette pops out is nice and convenient for the video so that I don't have to worry about blinding you with the mirror in the palette and my super bright ass light. So for $58, you get the Rockateur, Hula, Dandelion, Dallas, and Coralista. All, like I said, full-size versions for $58, that is a steal. Each one of these retails for $29 a piece. So if you're doing the math, $58 is the same as you would pay for two of these individually, and you're getting five, so that basically means you're getting three of them for free. Now, I already own Coralista and Hula, and I absolutely love them, and I've been wanting to get my hands on Dallas, Dandelion, and Rocket Tour for a very long time now, and I kept talking myself out of buying more blushes because I just didn't really need more blushes. But seeing as three of these blushes ended up being free, I justified it that way. If you've wanted to try more than two of their blushes and couldn't bring yourself to decide between which one you wanted, you may as well run over there and get this palette and get all of them for the price of two. I mean, how is that not a good buy? The palette also comes with this little pamphlet in it that basically gives you tips on how to use all of the different colors, where to apply it, and you know, instructions just in case you need them. Then the last item I picked up at Sephora was a black liquid liner because I can't live without my winged liner. And I figured I may as well pick this one up because it was high time I got my hands on it because everybody raves about it and I wanted to join the party as well. And that is the Kat Von D ink liner in the shade Trooper, which is basically their black liner and it's a waterproof liquid liner. Now you may recall that at the last VIB sale, I picked up the three pack of these, which were three minis that included Included Trooper, their brown liner, and the navy liner, who's I just I can't remember the names right now. I ended up returning those because the brush in the minis is not actually the same as the ones in the full size. 
I've tested out the full size version in the store and the full size ones have almost like a brush tip while the minis have a felt tip and the difference is that the brush tip glides on a lot smoother than a felt tip liner so you don't get any tugging or skipping. Alright guys, that was it for my Sephora haul. While I was at the mall, I decided to make a little pit stop over at Henry Bendel because I kind of love that store and also they know that I love that store so they're always sending me their little postcards tempting me with all kinds of goodies to go in and get. And the last postcard that they send me included a coupon in it. It was $25 off a purchase of $25 or more and I'm a huge fan of their candles so I went in with the intention of going to buy one of their candles which usually retail for $30 a piece so I figured with a $25 coupon in hand I get a candle for $5 major steal, had to do it. So I walked in with the intention of getting a candle, grabbed my candle, walked to the cash register, and then immediately changed my mind because I saw the item that I decided to buy instead, and that is my new phone case. So it's basically one of those phone cases that is kind of like a wallet. So you store your phone in the little pocket here, and then you can put your ID and credit cards in here, and then it has a little pocket underneath where you can also store some more stuff. So I've been wanting to get one of these for a while, and I hadn't out of laziness, but obviously this is super convenient because if I ever need to just go somewhere and I don't want to carry my purse, I can just obviously grab this out of my purse, have all of the essentials, and just stick my key in my pocket and keep on going with minimal baggage. So this is leather and it normally retails for $58 for the one that fits the iPhone 6 and $68 for the one that fits the iPhone 6S. But because it was their friends and family sale, they had it on sale for $29 and with my $25 coupon, I ended up paying $4 plus tax so I really just couldn't pass it up. And the last stop that I made during my little shopping trip was to Nordstrom Rack because I am a Nordstrom card holder. When you're a Nordstrom card holder, when you use your card to shop at Nordstrom, you earn points. Those points turn into cash rewards. And they basically sent me my Nordstrom notes, which are basically your cash rewards, same as it's basically like, it's basically like having a gift card. So I went into the rack to spend my little Nordstrom notes because I needed a new pair of workout shoes. So of course I went in to look for one thing and I walked out with two and again I'm totally surprised by my self restraint because normally I walk in looking for one or two things and I walk out not knowing what just happened. But not this time. This time I was responsible. So I just grabbed two pairs of shoes. The first ones were obviously my workout shoes and they look like this. They are these cute kind of gray, blue and Coral Nikes. I love them. And I got these for $65. Now if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you probably should, just check out the link down below. You probably saw that I shared a new pair of Vans that I got recently at Nordstrom Rack. They're these really cute black and floral slip-on Vans that I absolutely love and I'm constantly, like, I'm just wearing them constantly. Since they're getting so much use, I decided I probably needed another pair. And while I was moseying around the shoe department, I happened to stumble upon my next pair. Here's what they look like. They're these nice, kind of shiny gun metal slip-on vans, and the best part about them, besides the fact that they're super cute and really comfortable, is that they were only $25. They were like almost 60% off. So now I have another really comfortable pair of slip-on shoes because I'm really lazy and I don't like tying my shoes. Well, there you have it, guys. That was a little bit of shopping that I did this weekend. What did you think of the items that I got? Is there anything in this haul that you're looking forward to going out and trying to find for yourself? And is there anything that you picked up at the Sephora sale that you're really loving? Comment below and let me know. Let's bond over our shared love for shopping. And thanks again so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye.